of LSU against Southeastern tonight. Jared. Hey, Brian, when well, you talk about a winning streak, LSU is on a good streak, but not as far as pitching goes. The Tigers are struggling on the mound, but it isn't the weekend starters. It's actually the relief farms where the problems are recurring. Now, the Tigers did sweep UT San Antonio this weekend, but the drama really occurred in games two and three. And if you forget, let's recap. In game two, Landon Marceau didn't allow any runs in six innings. LSU was up 4 nothing, but the Tigers won 10-9 in the 13th inning. In game three, LSU led 9-2 when A.J. Labus retired, but needed 11 innings to win 13-12. The Tigers clearly have kinks to work out in the bullpen, but head coach Paul Maneri sees bright spots on the roster. I really like the way that a couple of the a few of the freshmen have thrown the ball i really really am high on garrett edwards i think garrett's going to be very special for us i thought that uh ty floyd threw a tremendous inning blake money has done some good things but he's a lot like ty floyd in that same sense that his secondary pitches are still a work in progress so i'm not really in a panic mode about the bullpen as as much as people may may think Well, another freshman will be on the mountain tonight, Brian, but the biggest thing is that they're facing Southeastern, a team that's on an eight-game winning streak, but one that hasn't won any games on the road. Covering LSU baseball live at Alec Park Stadium, Brian, back to you.